So we have some incredibly interesting news from Toyota over the last couple of weeks. An article has surfaced where Tadasan, who is the GT86 chief engineer, has come out and said that the 2020 and 2021 GT86 will categorically be a better car to drive than the new Toyota Supra. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen from that little intro there, a very interesting article has surfaced over the last couple of weeks where Tad Asad, who is the chief engineer of the GT86, has come out and said that the new generation of GT86 will be a better car to drive than the Toyota Supra. And before all the JDM and Supra fanboys get triggered, I am a massive, huge fan of the Toyota Supra. I love the Mark IV, I love the Mark V, and if somebody came to me and said, Josh, here, have this Mark IV Supra, I would chop my left leg off for it. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what has actually been said in this article, and we're gonna be thinking of a couple of reasons why, as to the new generation of GT86, could be better to drive than the Supra. I want you guys to interact with me in the comments, let me know down below what you think. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the JJB YouTube channel. If you enjoy this type of content, click like, subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your car friends. But let's get into the video. So we're just gonna talk about the current generation of GT86 for a quick minute, because over the last couple of years, Toyota brought out a number of special editions of the car. We've had the TRD handling package car, and we've also had the very recent Hakone Special Edition. Now, people have been lapping up these cars. They absolutely love them, and I think it because it gives some new, much-needed upgrades to the GT86 from when it is standard. So moving on to the next generation of GT86, Toyota announced way, way, way back when that the new GT86 will be sat on their TMPA platform. Now, this platform is a blueprint for a variety of cars, much like the Volkswagen MEB platform. Think of the Volkswagen Golf, the Seat Leon, and the Audi A3. They all sit on the same chassis and platform, and that's how it works. So does that mean that we're going to have a Toyota GT86 that shares a platform with a Prius? Are we gonna have a GT86 that shares a platform with an Auris? Because as it stands at the moment, the car that's sat on my drive over there shares a platform with the Impreza. Now, one thing that Subaru has come out and said is that the SGP, which is Subaru Global Platform, or their alternative to the TNPA, does not have the capacity to have a rear-wheel drive car. And apart from that, we don't know much more. Tadasan hasn't said much about the engine, the power plant, or the drivetrain of the new generation of cars, but there is talks of a 2.3 litre naturally aspirated engine coming along from the Subaru Ascent. Now that could be the case, but if you think about the fact that Subaru said that they can't get a rear wheel drive car on their platform, is the Subaru Ascent engine going to fit into the GT86? It is also likely that the GT86 could downsize an engine down to a 1.6 litre turbo or a 1.8 litre turbo purely for emissions reasons because the current car is sat at the very top threshold of the Euro 6. Unfortunately, we're not here to talk about emissions. We're here to talk about why the new generation of car is gonna be a better car than the Toyota Supra. I don't think the new car will be in a straight line. I don't think it will beat it around a track considering that people have taken the new Supra to autocross and wiped the field with a relatively stock car. So Toyota must be going down the line of giving the new generation of car a very, very good handling package. As we know, owners, people who've driven the car, motor reviewers and journalists have all credited the GT86 for its handling. And even Tadasan said the reason why they didn't put a turbo into it was because it would upset the weight distribution, therefore upsetting the handling. So I want to find out what you guys think about Toyota coming out with this statement. Let me know down in the comments below. There will be more news about this over the next couple of months considering that there is talks of the new generation of car being released or rather debuted at the end of the year at the Tokyo Auto Show. I for one am very interested in finding out the new details of the GT86 simply because I'm considering buying one. Depending on the price, how it looks and the prospective tuning and modification side of things, I might just put an order in for one. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Remember if you did enjoy this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with what I'm doing and until next time I'll see you then.